all right guys welcome back to the channel and i thought i'd just make a quick video a video i was looking for 12 months ago as a hobby machinist just starting out about 12 months ago i'd be watching videos on youtube and i'd see machinists using um, these carbide inserts so i thought i'd make a video guys on the the machine tool terminology i don't have it all yet because i've only been going 12 months but this is aimed at the hobby machinist who hasn't been machining too long so if you're a hobby machinist with 50 years experience behind you or even five years it's probably not the video for you when i started out machining 12 months ago i'd watch videos on youtube and they'd be using one of these i think they're a carbide insert and i think oh, i've got to get myself some of them but i couldn't afford them at the time so instead i learnt how to sharpen high speed steel and that's probably the best thing you can learn how to do when you're setting out machining there's a few good tutorials on youtube showing you how to sharpen high speed steel and if you watch them guys you'll pick it up I finally got some money together and I managed to buy a couple of turning tools and also a boring bar with the inserts and they're great but if you are just starting out and you're not getting the free cutting stock I mean I use a lot of um, I use a lot of marking out pins off building sites and they are tough as nails them and also rebar I'm trying to show you an example that's a piece of rebar. But I'll try and get the, um, that sort of stuff. That's a road pin for marking curbs out. And if you were to cut that with a carbide insert, it wouldn't last two minutes. If budget's not a problem, then fine, buy a load of them. I bought one piece of, um, I think they call it free cutting steel. It's steel with some lead content ah, and it cuts like a dream, but it also costs a lot of money so anyway guys that's uh i just thought i'd do this quick video and hopefully help somebody who uh, is starting out machining and wondering what to do regards inserts or tooling the beauty of high speed steel is you can make you can make anything you need to make so i made that for cutting a square thread i'm actually in the process of making new feed screws this is for the compound. I might eventually I might make one for the um, cross feed. I'll show you an example of how I sharpen uh, a piece of high speed steel. Now, there's some great instructional videos on YouTube how to sharpen high speed steel that could tell you how to do it way better than I can. But I'll just quickly sharpen this bit up, and then that's not. Tell you what, I'll sharpen that bit up. Now, when you are sharpening it or cutting it, you've got to keep it cool by dunking it in water. And that's red because it's Ribena, it's out of a bike bottle. But it'll do just as well. So, I'll sharpen this now.
All right, guys, we'll give that a go. Great looking something like that. That's a bit I've just quickly sharpened myself in five minutes and you can see it's taken a decent cut there. Now this is um, this is a pre-cut one and then I've just put an edge on it and I'll show you this one now. This will be way better than the one I've just done. But still, they're only... You can get these for about a fiver a piece. Whereas the um, carbide ones, they're like... 30 quid each, so massive saving. And that finishes even better still. So to summarise guys, if you're on a budget and you're using any old scrap, then the high speed steel is definitely the way forwards guys. You teach yourself how to sharpen it and when you dull it on a bit of old rebar or a road, or a road pin, you just simply sharpen it again. Now, just for comparison, I'll show you the carbide. So guys, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope some of you found that helpful or useful. Just These are just my opinions, how I've been machining in the last 12 months. Like I say, this is just the video I was looking for when I started machining. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.